Susan, oh my Hi, goodness. We are live right now with MJ Rodriguez. Hello, you guys. Talk about strike a pose, okay? okay. Thank you. What did you think of tonight's Oscars? I thought it was amazing. I thought a lot of people got the well-deserved Oscar winnings. And I was so happy for my girl, Ariana DeBow. We've known each other since, like, I, I can go all the way back until we were chilling. But I'm so happy for her. Game Everybody recognizes game, yes. OK? Yes. I saw you talking to Kim Kardashian right before you went live with us. What did you tell Miss Kim K? Well, I just said she looked great in that fucking blue dress. Oh, my god, did I just curse? Oh, who cares? Uh, <laughs> live TV, live TV. I thought she looked amazing in that blue dress, and her body looks wonderful. And also, she's a freaking icon. Like, let's be real. Yes, yeah, and if, real. if you didn't watch the show tonight, don't worry, because I have your full recap. Let's take a look at the big winners of the night. Okay, Coda. <laughs> Lady Gaga and Liza Minnelli presented Coda, a movie about a child of deaf adults with the top prize of the night, Best Picture. A movie of love and family on this difficult time. Serena and Venus Williams opened the Oscars by paying tribute to their hometown of Compton and introducing Beyonce singing Be Alive. And it was once, twice, three times a lady with hosts Amy Schumer, Regina Hall, and Wanda Sykes. They had some fun with the unusual format. This year, the Academy hired three women to host because it's cheaper than hiring one man. <laughs> Troy Kutzer. Coda star Troy Kotzer made history as the first deaf man to win an Oscar and dedicated the award to his late father. Dad. I learned so much from you. I'll always love you. Ariana DeBose, West Side Story. Ariana DeBose won Best Actress in a Supporting Role for West Side Story, becoming the first openly queer woman of color to win the coveted category. Even in this weary world that we live in, dreams do come true. And a show-stopping moment when Best Actor winner Will Smith stormed the stage to confront comedian Chris Rock over a joke about his wife, Jada. Oh, wow! The uncensored exchange silenced the Dolby and left the audience at home asking, what just happened? But, of course, you know the saying, the show must go on, and so it did. That was a... Uh... Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Later, Will Smith won the Best Actor Award for playing Venus and Serena's father in King Richard, delivering a tearful acceptance speech. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Jessica Chastain, guys. Jessica Chastain took home the Best Actress Oscar for The Eyes of Tammy Faye. For any of you out there who do, in fact, feel hopeless or alone, I just want you to know that you are unconditionally loved. And Best Director went to Jane Campion for Power of the Dog. It would be impossible without the man I never met, Thomas Savage. He wrote about cruelty, wanting the opposite kindness. Billie Eilish and Brother Phineas won the award for Best Original Song for No Time to Die. So Rap superstar Megan Thee Stallion made a surprise appearance during the hit song from Encanto, We Don't Talk About Bruno. And speaking of Encanto, the movie about a magical family had the magic tonight and won for best animated feature. As you can see, anything can happen at the Academy Awards, and anything can happen at Vanity Fair. We have Megan the Stallion standing in line and in back of John Voight. The stars are here. Amy Schumer just went inside the party. This is the after party for the Oscars. We are seeing stars left and right. John Leguizamo just walked by. There's Dan Levy. Dan, we're live. Hi, Dan, we're live. We're live. Okay, somebody. All right, well... Maybe he can't hear me, but he's in the blue suit. Can you just tell him we're live right now? Uh, Shit's Creek star Dan Levy right over here. They're waiting to take their photos. James Marsden is taking his photo now. He's coming out with Sonic the Hedgehog 2 next month. Listen, we're going to talk a lot more about the Oscars and specifically what happened with Will and Chris later on in the show. For now, I'll send it back to you, Susan. 
All right, Amanda. Yes, much to talk about indeed. Well, the LAPD has released a statement following that Oscars confrontation. It reads in police speak, LAPD investigative entities are aware of an incident between two individuals during the Academy Awards program. The incident involved one individual slapping another. The individual involved has declined to file a police report. That would be Chris Rock. If the involved party desires a police report at a later date, LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report.